this is part three of the tutorial now that we run the model we are ready to post process we go to the ls dynamager we see the red icon here start ls pre post so we start ls pre post we go to file open and then ls dyna binary plot we click on it we go to the directory where the file is and we click on the first one d3 plot and we open so it will load all the results file we can rotate we can move this if we want to and you can see here you can animate we can rotate while it's animating to examine the model we can stop and if we want to we can close this now to look at the stresses for example we look at the first icon here fringe component we can take a look at one Mises stress we can take a look at plastic strain in this model and other fringe component like displacement velocity stress moment resultant strain and other items in which we can take a look at for example if we want to uh, post process the ascii files that we created in this case in the input file we created a database for GLSTAT and a database for RC force file. So we go to ASCII. We click on ASCII. We're going to see an asterisk in front of these files, which means they're already in the directory. So, for example, if we want to look at the contact force, we click on RC force, then we click on load. So it's going to put one in front of the RC force file, which means it is loaded. We have the slave and master so um, let's say we want to look at the slave and the result and contact force so we click on the result and contact force and we plot it so there is the force versus time uh, for this uh, problem we can quit if we want to look at energy balance for example for this system we look at gel stat we click on it we click on load so we load the file, it puts one in front of it. We can take a look at kinetic energy, internal energy, and the total energy. So if we press control, we click on kinetic energy, internal energy, and total energy, and we plot it, then we say we see the energy balance for this uh problem. Uh as expected, the total energy should be uh constant, a conservative system. So this concludes the tutorial.